Syrians from all walks of life poured on Sunday into electoral centers across government-controlled parts of Syria to vote for their parliamentary candidates. 1,658 candidates are competing to win 250 seats at the parliament, known in Syria as the People's Assembly. Syria's Minister of Information underlined the importance of holding the elections at this critical time in Syria's history. The importance of holding the elections lies in the timing and in light of the measures taken against Syria. It comes at a time when the harshest sanctions are being imposed on Syria that affect Syrians and all those who deal with Syria. Despite that, Syria has held the elections which reflect its sovereignty. The elections, which was set to be held in April, had been postponed twice. We at the Ministry of Health have set some measures to be taken during elections amid the coronavirus threat. Wearing masks and observing social distancing is a must. We have also sterilized all polling stations. Over 7,400 polling stations have been established by the Syrian government. Syrians say they want the winners to fight corruption, improve their living standards and work to face the challenges the country's economy is facing. Voting is a national duty and right. The candidate I voted for is the person I gave my trust to represent me. We announced the start of the elections at 7 a.m. with the presence of representatives of the candidates and the police. They observed that ballot boxes are empty, sealed and ready for voters. The elections do not cover areas out of government control, mainly Idlib, which is occupied by terrorists, and northeastern Syria, where the so-called Syria's Democratic Forces are positioned. Most candidates represent political parties, some established during the crisis. Others are independent figures, businessmen and industrialists. Despite their disappointment over the work of previous parliamentarians, Syrians have flocked to electoral centers to cast their ballots to candidates they hope can make a positive change at the parliament, a change they hope to feel in their daily lives in the near future. Hamad Ali, Press TV, Damascus.